Hi, my name is Mike Scott. I'm a senior technical marketing engineer with VMware SD-WAN and SASE. Today I wanted to do a quick video to talk about some of the tools that our customers have for monitoring and operating their SD-WAN network. Let's start with the SD-WAN orchestrator. When you first log in here at the network overview, you can see a collection of all the statuses of every site in the customer network. The security overview tab offers a view into threats detected and sites impacted. Looking at an individual site, you can see that you can uh, see the status of each link. Uh, you can also see uh, the quality of experience both before and after um, the SD-WAN improvements have been applied. Uh, you can see individual link status. Uh, you can drill down and look at you know, different KPIs or different metrics for each one of the links. Uh, you have a, uh, some CAN periodicities here, or you can also uh, drag and drop to zoom in on a specific time frame. Uh, we have the PaaS. This is the status of our overlays. So here I have two PaaS active to my cloud-hosted gateways. Uh, from a flow perspective, you have the ability to explicitly see any flows um, that are, are being seen by this branch location, and also the ability to see uh, specific applications. By default, we show the most active applications, but you can zoom in and see all the applications that are running at a site. This is my local lab that I have here running in my office, so this is the, the uh, the traffic that's being seen coming from my laptop uh, out to the SD-WAN network. Once applications have been recognized, we can apply our smart defaults. Uh, these are the default business policies out of the box that we use to give uh, business policy treatment to applications. These can be edited, these can be overridden uh, in order to meet the needs of the customer's business requirements. Once applications have been recognized, we can apply our smart defaults. Uh, these are the default business policies out of the box that we use to give uh, business policy treatment to applications. These can be edited, these can be overridden uh, in order to meet the needs of the customer's business requirements. Network-wide software versions for all of the SD-WAN edges uh, can be seen and controlled. From a monitoring and operations perspective, you can have alerts sent by email and SMS. You can configure SNMP traps and webhooks to integrate with off-board network management and operations solutions. We also have the ability to generate automated reports that can be sent out periodically to record network performance and KPI information. The solution also supports a robust JSON-based API, so anything that you can do in the UI in terms of point-and-click activities to gather information for monitoring and operations can be done and automated via API calls. Now I'd like to move to our Edge Network Intelligence application. We're going to click Application Analytics. You can also access it through the Branch Analytics. Uh, link here in the orchestrator. Here in ENI, you can see that there's a, a dashboard of all the incidents that are occurring in the uh, in the, the customer network, ranked by severity. So you can see here's a P1 where devices had poor Salesforce performance. You can see the dynamically generated baseline for the uh, for the Salesforce or the application performance that's been generated by the system, and then this particular incident, uh, this outlier here that the um, the alert has been generated on. Then you can drill down uh, and look at potential root causes and then uh, use that to you know, really shorten the mean time to resolution. The ENI Analytics dashboard also has the ability to create and schedule uh, automated reports. From an operational perspective, Edge Network Intelligence also has the ability to do external integrations to tools like ServiceNow and then also Slack notifications as well as using webhooks to uh, send alerts and events. To conclude, I'd like to emphasize the importance of having a unified policy between the networking and security teams when it comes to monitoring and operating the SD-WAN network. This means both teams are seeing the reports and metrics generated during the same time periods and are better able to correlate the impact of each other's actions. Thanks for watching.